Remember guys, music is beautiful, life is beautiful, and you're beautiful. Hello and welcome to Time with Eli. Today I'm going to be reviewing and reacting to Kate Liu playing Piano Concerto in E Minor by Chopin in the Chopin Institute Competition 2015. She came in third place in this competition, and this is the final stage. She won the bronze medal. I don't believe in the final stage there are only three people, so she didn't get last place. I know there's at least four places uh, placing in the final round. That being said, guys, she, she placed third, won the bronze medal, and 20,000 euros, I do believe. That being said, we're going to jump right into it. But first, I wanted to show you we have the Eli merch, Time with Eli. Beautiful shirts, soft, velvety shirts, beautiful fit. As you can see, I have the hat as well. Interesting. Go check it out. Link in the description. That being said, we're going to jump right into Kate Lou, Piano Concerto in E minor, Opus 11 by Chopin. Again, it's the final stage of the Chopin competition 2015, where she won third place bronze. Let's go. I don't think I've heard this piece before. Let's jump right in. You would think the cathedral would be a little bit bigger than that, no? Now, we've heard Kate Lou play on this channel before. Is absolutely fantastic. I'm interested to see if I can spot an error here or something that would make the judges give her a third, or if it was just that Song Jing Cho was so fantastic he just couldn't be beat that day. Let's listen in here, guys. Again, piano concerto in E minor, opus 11, Chopin. Awesome that they have orchestral accompaniment as well. That might be saved for the final round, I'm not sure. Guys, clarify down in the comments what that's about. If you could have orchestral accompaniment throughout the competition or only for the final round. Those violins always get me so beautiful. Now, is it just me? The orchestra seems a little, a little slow. They seem a little sleepy. It's just like, if this was on out of a scale of one to one hundred percent, it's like, it's like eighty-five percent they're giving here. The orchestra, they seem. They seem like they're not into it. It's a beautiful piece, and it's being performed beautifully, but the orchestra's definitely not giving it their all, being that it's a competition, I think. The conductor seems a little unenthused as well. You could just tell. Let's see how Kate does now. I hope this wasn't one of the reasons why, which it shouldn't be as far as the judges are concerned, one of the reasons why she didn't win this competition, that the overall performance wasn't dazzling. Yeah, they're picking it up a little bit now. Yeah, 
and even the look on the orchestra's faces, they seem, they seem a little upset. They seem a little perturbed. Tired, and they're probably exhausted because it's the final stage of I've been performing for days. conductor for sure should be bringing that enthusiasm to them and telling them let's go so he seems like he's getting a little he's, he's getting a little more enthusiastic here maybe Kate will inspire them here with her performance that's what it's all about and it's her time to shine Here we go. tell you can feel the nerves in her playing as well god that's so beautiful See, it seemed like she was a millisecond behind the orchestra there until she played that rapid succession notes. And then that's where she caught up. She, she sped it up a little bit just to, just to catch up with the orchestra and time it properly. Now it's, now it's, now it's in the right time. You can hear it. Hmm. Yes, perfect. See, that, that less than stellar opening is what could have cost her the first place because really the first place has got to be dead on and I hope it wasn't the orchestra being like like kind of being sleepy that, that cost her into her enthusiasm and added extra nerves to it because that's not really fair but that's such as life you know these things happen yes yes
And even look at her hand gestures there. Her hand looks a little bit stiff. She's so nervous. I think she let the... I think, I think the reason she got third is because she let... She definitely got the talent to win this competition. And the competition is so tough. It's too early to tell and really say. But I think she let the moment... She let the moment get her. So nervous. She's young, you know, what can you do? Anybody would be nervous in that place. Well, let's listen. There you go, there you go. She knows what she's doing. Do it. Let's go. There we go. Does you hear the difference? She needed to relax. She's finally settling in. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. It's all there. Mm. See, and she's inspiring the orchestra behind her. play it like this through the whole thing, she gets first. You understand? Absolutely. God. That's just my opinion, but I think I'm right on with it. Intense guys. You feel the orchestra now? You can feel it. You feel it in your chest, in your heart. The chills down your back. Just makes you smile those notes, huh? <sighs> Every bit of misery that was supposed to be in that little section there translated so beautifully. I think she, I think 
think she doubts herself at the openings of sections. But she shouldn't at all, she's fantastic. You hear that? It's beautiful. Oh, guys. I'm not kidding. Now the orchestra, the conductor should have went into that section right there with more emphasis, more oomph, I think, in my opinion. He really should have, he should have expressed the notion of let's, let's give this all we got right here to really, to really push this section. He's sort of doing that, but it, it looks, like I said, he's, he's under-enthused. If they would have just hit that mark right there, that would have really been something special. beautiful section of this of this entire piece absolutely my favorite at least Chopin was a human being when he was here. You sure he wasn't dropped from another planet like Mars? Because his works are just, oh, they really are something so incredible. And in my opinion, they'll live on as long as humans live on. There will be play people playing Chopin's works. It's so special. competition performances that was oh so smooth so elegant so flawless too just she nailed that section wow she had more moments like that in her performance i don't know why the judges scored her the way they did but if she had more more moments like we just saw the last minute of this performance first place regardless of anybody else's performance
So beautiful, guys. When music can make your whole life and existence flash before your eyes. That's what just happened. There's the fire, there's the fire. Awesome guys, isn't it just awesome? I'm so happy I discovered classical music. Wow. <clears throat> I might as well. Clear my throat too. That's so cool. She gives the conductor the go ahead. That is awesome. Totally different sound from the orchestra right off the front. Right there, you hear the difference in quality? Look at their faces. They look less annoyed and tired as they are really getting it done now. Come on, Katie. Mm -hmm. There's some meat there.
that's the sun was beautiful. Oh. God. That was outstanding open. That whole section was like a whisper. Man, she got me tearing. Beautiful moment. So far, what I've been seeing and hearing is enough if the first two placers, which was Sung Jin Cho, and there's another gentleman who plays second, if they perform perfectly or, you know, a little bit more enthusiastic, enthusiastic, I'll explain it at the end, you'll see. I have an idea in my mind of why she placed third with what's going on already. Even if she performs so beautifully as she already did in this sort of competition, as, as tough as the competition is, that open, being unenthusiastic and a little nervous, and then really not getting into it until six, seven minutes in where she played beautifully, that's enough to get third place already, sadly. And I think she knew that, which is why this is so inspiring. Because knowing that she did so poorly in the open, which was still beautiful, and for her to perform her butt off just to, it says so much about her integrity. Because this is one of the best performances I've ever heard of, of any piece of Chopin's. And for it to come after she knows she already probably didn't win the competition, it makes it that much more beautiful. There's so much emotion connected to her performance thus far after that initial point. Because she knows she already lost. She has to. So this is just this is just her playing the piano now. That's what's so beautiful about it. She has nothing to lose, you know? And if she performed like with this nothing to lose attitude from the beginning, first place.
Hmm. And you guys, I'm sure, can feel the difference and hear the difference from the first five minutes of the piece till now. Absolutely, I'm sure you can. You can feel the difference. That was the ideal placeholder piece or section, you know what I'm saying? Because now we're getting into, the, I believe this is the finale, if I'm not mistaken, Rondo Vivace. I'm not sure if this is the finale. That touch was so, so elegant, so such a fine touch. See, it went from this to this. She's smiling now. I wish she would have had that through the performance. Man, she's so talented. See, she's having fun now. You can see her, the expression is brighter. Fantastic there. Another thing I, I just noticed 
In these sections, where it's a little more lively, she needed a little more pressure in some certain sections. A little more. See here, she's playing a little more powerful. That's what I noticed in the section that just just passed. She needed to play a little a little firmer. Right there, she's just doing good. You get the difference now? Even now, a little firm would probably be better. Okay? I wish you could do that. Some of you can. I've listened to some of you play. Keep practicing. Keep practicing. You'll be as good as Kate Lou in no time. Kate Lou, I should say. Impressive, huh? That was like an expert sushi chef butchering a fish from top to bottom in like 30 seconds, like a, a whole tuna. It was so perfect. Sur surgical precision, beautiful. Surgical precision, she just played that passage. Ooh. Ooh. 
So beautiful, too. You hear this? My goodness, what a talent, what years of practice and talent we got. Magnificent finale, wow. Ooh, that was superb, wow, bravo. Wow. Superb, yes, it was superb, that was fantastic. Man, it was just that, that original open. It was that first three or four, even maybe five minutes. It needed to be a, two notches better and she would have had first place. Oh. That was superb. Oh. Man. We have to see Sung Jin Cho's winning performance. We have to see the second place. I'm not sure what the gentleman's name is second place finisher of this competition in 2015. We'll have to also see their performance, the top two performances, first and second. Man, that was outstanding. What a finale for that entire performance as well. That was outstanding. And like I said, it was, to me, it was, the open was a little slow. She was, I think her nerves really got to her. She's exceptionally talented. But her nerves got to her at the open. She wasn't feeling confident. The confidence came in, I'd say, 15 minutes in, but she started to improve after the first five minutes. The first five minutes was really not, not of her playing was really not that good. I know the orchestra started ahead of time, and the orchestra was so unenthused at the open, I really hope that didn't hurt her, because that wouldn't be fair at all if it did. That really is not fair. But that's, that's how it works, you know? You gotta play by the rules. And if the orchestra just doesn't seem to be inspired that day or for that performance, that's that's the breaks. The pianist has to pick up the pieces and really perform, out, outshine them, you know? So the judges think higher of them. Even better scores, even though the orchestra didn't follow suit. Whew, that was fantastic. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like I always say, give it a big thumbs up as it really helps the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing as we do this quite often. Remember to ring the notification bell. You're notified every time I post a new video. If you have something to say, please leave it in the comments down below. And remember, once again, we have the Eli merch. Time with the Eli t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, cups, everything you could want. Even face masks with the current situation. This has been Time with Eli. I appreciate you watching. And remember, music is beautiful. Life is beautiful. And you're beautiful. I love you all, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.